Hello YouTube and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 tutorial series. In this video we're going to take a quick look at how to implement music in tier level so it will play back all the time as long as you're in that current level. It's very easy to do so let's get started. Take the music you want from, for the, to be your level music, whatever you've got to hand <clears throat> and make sure it's in the, the extension, the format of .wav .wav or wave however you pronounce it uh, yeah and then what you're going to want to do is drag that wave file your music file your source audio into the content browser this is the one I've chosen for my level music it's called death at my heels I got off the, the internet somewhere it's copyright free music I provide this music in the link in the description so if you want to follow along with this piece of music you're more than welcome it's suited to like a horror or a scary environment this music is more horror based this is what it sounds like. But feel free to use any music you want. If you want the music I'm using, just see the link in the description and you'll get this exact WAV file. And that's the music, so let's get started. First thing you're going to want to do is right click on your content browser on some space and go to sounds. And come down to this one sound cue and left click on it to create it then give it a name we'll call it level one underscore music and we'll do a search for it so we'll just type we'll do a content browser search so we'll just type in level one and there is it that asterisk in the lower left corner of the tab represents that it hasn't been saved yet so we'll save that in just a moment but we'll double click on that to open it up and then we'll expand that we'll zoom out a bit then over here on your list of tools available to you to the right come down until you get wave player left click and drag out over here somewhere and click on wave player where it says none no way where it says sound wave and it says none click the drop down list go to browse and type in the name of the track you imported into the content browser, the source audio name. Mine was called Deaf at My Heels, with all underscored. If I type in Deaf, that's the only thing there, that's what it is. That's, that was my file, so click on that. Now it's allocated it to your sound cue. We'll zoom in, drag this execution pin from the output, left click and drag in, and plug it into this execution pin. That should be good to go. If you want to play back your sound, just highlight the output, come up here, play Q. You can stop it or you can double click on, double click on output and it'll play. You can stop up here. That's done, so we give that a save. Close it down. Then, top of the screen, the top modes, there's a blueprint. Then down to level blueprint and left click on that to get access to it. And this is basically what we're going to be repeating today. This little um this little script in blueprint it's very simple to do so let's get started first thing you want to do is right click and type in event space begin and come down to touch input and go to event begin play we'll have that and drag out from that execution pin let go of the mouse left mouse button then the search menu Actually, no, you don't want to do that. You want to go to um, make sure you've got event begin play in there, and we'll shrink that down, zoom out of there. So, make sure you've got two windows, then come back into in your content browser. So, you've got the level one music sound cue, drag that off into the other window with your, your level blueprint. As you can see, it's now added an audio component, and it's our sound cue level one music, the level music we're going to be using for our game. And then we'll take this execution pin and attach it to this one, and then we'll come out of here. We'll just type in 2D audio, and we'll just play sound 2D. Click this drop-down list and that might be too loud for volume one is a hundred percent volume so we'll just type in point 
three, two, five. Drag that up there. Go to compile. Give it a save. Shouldn't take too much longer to give it a save. The level's quite big, that's why it's taking a little while to save. But it'll be done in just a minute. And that should just be about it. Close that down. Now when we go into our game, press play. Can you hear the music? It's not too loud. It's quite like it might be a little bit loud. Now we have the other footprint. That was something I, I added previously. But now you can hear the level as music playing. And if you want your level music to repeat, I've got it set up at the moment that when it gets to the end, it will just stop and there'll be no more music. I've got it at the moment that when it stops, there'll be no more music when it runs the course of the track once. So open up your sound cue, double click on it. On this one here. Wave player, death at my heels, that's what my track is called. Whichever one your track is called, click on that one. And when it says looping, check that. And now when it runs through the course of the track on your level, that's, that's playing your level music, when it gets to the end, it'll repeat it from the beginning again. And it'll do that infinitely until you end the level or you come up with another script on, based on certain conditions why it should stop. But look for other tutorials to do things like that. Anyway, YouTube. We'll have a quick, we'll have one more go. Feel free to experiment with the um, the volume of the sound in the uh, blueprint editor for the level. Just lower the number, like 0 0.1, 0 0.01, or something like that. Maybe it's too loud, or half it by going 0.5. As you can see, the level now has music. No enemies or anything, you know. But that's music. If you've liked this video at all, YouTube, please give the video a like and thanks for watching. Be safe, stay lucky, virtual worlds, signing out. Oh yeah, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it. Thank you.